Good morning, everybody. It actually is not the morning. It's the afternoon. We just got done stocking a pond for Mindax's buddy. He wanted us to transport some fish. We just got done with that, but right now, we're about to go film. Well, we were about to go film a uh, expensive swim bait versus cheap swim bait video, and well, it's a little bit moist out here, folks. It's not that bad, but it's going to get way worse here coming up. So we don't want to get kachowed by this rain, but we are going to go pick up the cheap swim bait. So we have an expensive swim bait back home at his house in the boat, and uh, so I'll show you guys that tomorrow. But for right now, we got to go pick out a cheap, the cheapest. We're getting the cheapest swim bait that they possibly have. And we are going to do an expensive versus cheap swim bait battle. Alright, so my I, I'm gonna be using the expensive blue bluegill uh, swim bait and then John is gonna be using the cheap one. So I'm thinking these guys are pretty much the most thing they've got to a bluegill. I don't know if I'd really call that a bluegill. I don't know what I don't know what fish has aqua colored fins. Not sure what this company was really thinking about this, but you know, I'm sure it catches fish anyway. It's not all about being realistic. So John will have three. I will have one. Pretty much the only swim bait that they have, and how much are these? five bucks for three so these are like a little over a dollar a piece I mean I was never good at chemistry but it's probably somewhere around there we'll just call it the dollar swim bait versus the uh, expensive swim bait because I don't remember how much I paid for it but I, I'll find out tonight and then tomorrow when we go fishing I'll let you guys know but I don't know if you guys enjoyed the expensive versus cheap videos that we're about to film let me know because we have a whole bunch of other ideas of like using expensive rods and reels and, and different lures and stuff like that so if you guys are enjoying these make sure you smash that like button and Drop a comment down below and we'll make some more. But anyways, that's what we're gonna get. I will see you guys in the morning. Tomorrow. Well, clearly it continued to rain. Like I told you guys, that is why we did not go out yesterday because it just rained all day and all night. And now it's looking decent. There's still a storm a little bit to the southeast of us, but we are going northeast. So we should be okay, hopefully. And now we're letting the old They'll excel boat the squeaker seeker drain out real quick but we're gonna do a little bit of bass fishing today throwing some swim baits throwing some maybe some other baits i don't really know just kind of depends if they bite but right now we're gonna load up most importantly breakfast pizza mmm yeah boy see that mmm Right, here we go yes guys I know I'm not an expert swim bait fisherman but this is like a glide bait and we're flipping docks but I mean I guess that's part of the challenge right like you can't can't make it too easy I don't know if I catch fish on this I'll probably scream like a little girl because this thing is pretty much the sickest thing I've ever thrown we'll see I don't know I feel like I could get catch out all I do all I got to do is beat the $1 swim bait though all right so Andrew's using the expensive swim bait I'm gonna be using the inexpensive one these ones are probably about a dollar dollar fifty this is from the Walmart that we got and yeah i'm gonna try using this catching a fish i think it should work mine's a soft body this is soft soft plastic right here so hopefully it works dude there's a fish dude yes got one got one it's a big bass it's a big bass oh gosh oh dude no way no freaking way i think it's a big bass i think it's a freaking big bass dude oh gosh yeah we're hooked up boys oh 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 golly, I don't know how I'm gonna land this thing. Going for it, whoa! <laughs> yes, dude! Oh my God, on the swim bait! On the freaking swim bait! <laughs> no way, no freaking way, dude. Oh my God, yes! Oh, I cannot believe that worked that well. I was doubting this bait. I was like, dude, there's no way I'm gonna catch a fish. There's absolutely no way, it's just, not the right, not the right bait for this time of year. They're still up there shallow munching, folks. Just because it's post spawn doesn't mean they're deep. Oh, hey Doc, how you doing? That right there is my first ever swim bait fish. Like one of these types of swim baits. I've never thrown one before. Oh, that is so exciting. Not a giant, but I will freaking take it, folks. That is an absolutely beautiful South Dakota brute on the expensive swim bait so far. One to zero. Yes. This is Pamela. See you later, Pamela. Yes, one is zero, baby. Yes. 
Well, folks, I know I'm not an expert swim bait fisherman by any means. I mean, I'm probably the most uneducated swim bait fisherman known to man. Big chatterbait. Um, big chatterbait guy. But I am throwing this on a seven foot, two medium heavy flares, frogging flipping stick. Now I know I'm not frogging, or I'm kind of flipping, but you know, this rest pretty much just good for whatever. They're, these guys are still in stock. I believe my seven threes are out of stock, but these seven twos are still in stock. They're good, good all around rod. I mean, you can pretty much throw whatever. 17 pound line in a six, four to one gear ratio reel. If you guys are experts with fishermen, comment down below what I'm doing wrong, because I actually like catching that fish really got me excited about my life. And I want to keep throwing stuff like this. I want to try new, new baits, big baits, and uh, comment down below. Like, if you guys are expert fishermen with swim baits, comment, be like, no, you need to buy this one. This time of year, this one's good. You know, this is the rod you need. This is how you need to retrieve it. Because honestly, I'm, I'm working this thing like a, almost like a jerk bait right now, where it's just kind of like doing its gliding, gliding bait action. So just give me some advice, guys. I mean, normally I'm trying to teach you guys, but now I need your guys' help. Help me out, teach me how to swim bait fish. Basket, oh, there's one, there's one, got him. Dude, I saw him eat it, I saw him eat it out of the dock. Oh, yep, oh, yep, yep, oh gosh, here we go. Saw him eat it out from under the dock. Oh God, dude, that's another good one. I don't know if I can boat flip this guy, this guy's not hooked all that great. Come here, no, 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 dude. Yes, there we go, we're good, he's hooked. He's hooked decent. Look at that guy, number two. Dude, the freaking swim bait is killing it. Expensive swim bait right now is just absolutely ka on these fish. It's crazy. You throw this thing, it's a glide bait basically, and I'm just gliding it in and around the docks. And I actually, I watched that fish come out and smoke it. It's almost, almost like a topwater fish, but absolutely incredible. This is so much stinking fun, folks. I love it. All right, Jeremiah. See you, dude. There's one. Got him. Oh God, we're hooked up in the end. Oh God, that's another good one. Another good one. Oh, dude, they are loving this. Oh, he's barely hooked. Uh-oh. 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 This ain't. No, 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 no. Oh God. Good. All right. We're just going for it. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Wow. I, I can't believe this. Dude, they are. I mean, they're absolutely loving it. Absolutely just devouring. I mean, that thing, I mean, I'd eat that if I was a bass. That thing looks like a freaking snack. These guys are just little cookie cutter bass, but I'm having a great time doing this. So I'm not really flipping much docks. John's doing more of the flipping docks. I'm more hitting the open water and up under the trees and stuff like that. I think that's the juice for catching these guys. Whew. All right, Anthony, see you, dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this, all right, let's see if I can get this guy. So this guy, oh, we're just gonna crash real quick. That's, that's what you call matching the hatch. I don't know how well you guys can see that, I mean, these guys look pretty much identical. You can see, this is my bait. This is a bluegill that was just chilling on the surface of the water. He's pretty much ka but you see the color patterns are identical. The size, mine's a little bit smaller than him. Oh, but he's still alive. Oh, his mouth is moving. Oh, I feel bad for him now. Just wanna show you guys, matching the hatch is important. That is why I'm catching these fish, because these guys are swimming around, around the uh, the docks. This guy, like right here, he's injured. It's exactly what this thing imitates. Yeah, that's that's that, see, dude? Well, he'll be uh, he'll be bass food here in a minute, but just wanted to show you guys that I saw him floating on the surface. I was like, yeah, that looks just like my bait. I think that's why I'm catching these fish. John's on like a clown looking one. It's got all sorts of colors. Doesn't mean he won't catch them, but this thing looks super natural, very realistic. I mean, you get what you pay for. Good paint job on it, super realistic action, and sometimes it sometimes it pays off. It's probably just a little fish here, you know. Oh, is that is that one? Oh, we're hooked up. What is this? Oh, it's a bass. Look at that guy. I mean, that's that tells you right there the draw power of this bait. I mean, he clearly was not thinking logically when he came after it, but it's it's so intriguing that they just have to come check it out and all of a sudden there are six hooks attached to it and they just get munched. There we go, that's number four. Four land, what are you doing back there, Rick? Uh, I'm at a fat zero right now still. I mean, your aqua marine, let me see that thing. It's it's not going too great. I mean, your, uh, these aqua fins though, I thought they looked pretty legitimate, no? I thought I was the, gonna do it. The bass, the bass thing differently, huh? A lot of daylight left. A lot of daylight left, he says. What's up? I went to work and I went by the boat landing. I usually fish out here and I saw your pickup. Oh yeah. So I called my boss. I was like, I'm not coming for a while. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Should tell your boss. Should tell your boss you're not coming to work and you can come fish. <laughs> 
took like a, good. a bunch. Yeah, Hell yeah. Good. All right. Thank you. Yeah, quite a few of us watch you on YouTube that's, out here. That's awesome. You're probably my favorite Google. Oh, I appreciate that. It means a lot. All right. Well, you got to go to work? Yep. All right. Have fun at work. Nice to meet you. Yep. Thanks for rocking the swag. All right. See you later. Oh. oh, he's counting though. Come on, get in the boat. That's five. How are you feeling back there, Ricky? I feel like you're just, you're on the struggle bus today. Like, like there's no way you are gonna fit that in your mouth. Well, that is number five for me. See, dude, we got John back. Oh yeah, we're about to crash. Thousand percent gonna crash. <laughs> we're for sure gonna crash. If it was for John, we would have been a goner. Oh, no way. Going? Yeah, he's wrapped in the tree, though. Uh oh, oh you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, my God. It up, it up, it up. Oh, my God, he's running. Is it a big one? I know, he's dece, he's dece, dude. He's definitely dece. All right. Woo! There we go. My first one, finally, on the $1 swim bait. Check that out. Right here, we just have a submerged tree and i just flew i literally flipped it in right there just got it right away he got he wrapped me around here so i'm gonna have to probably check for fray but yes i'm so pumped first fish let's go all right for a second there andrew was kind of showing me up in my hometown this is my lake that i grew up fishing and i fish this a lot so i couldn't go down without a fight this is my first fish andrew has five but there's still a lot of time left and i think i can do it all right see you later Squarius. Finally, Buddy in the back finally gets his first fish on the brush pile. There was a, there was a pretty juicy brush pile. I didn't touch it. Needed to make sure he threw in there. Oh, I mean, he left it for me. I oh, left it for him. Okay. I mean, he's got a better bait because his bait sinks. So his can actually go in by the brush pile, but that's good. Five to one. The day is still young, folks. We still got plenty of time for him to make a comeback. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I think, I think I got this one in the bag. There he is. Yep. Dude, swimming it out. Get up in here. Ah, number six. That's a better one, dude. Dang it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, nice I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to catch up. Oh golly. I mean look how they're eating that thing though. It's like that is an absolutely gorgeous sight right there, folks. Just crunching on the freaking gills. Oh, oh, okay. You wanna pull okay, hang on, you wanna pull that out? I, is it past pass, pass the barb? It's oh, oh dude, dude, you're a child. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay, just get the fish undone, dude. Ah. Oh god, if he shakes. All right, I'm putting this down. Hold up. It's not that bad, but. <sighs> oh god. Should I take this out first? Okay, I feel like you can get it out. Okay, you hold the fish. Okay, yeah, you do it. Oh. oh. Ah, ah, that was a botch. Well, well, that was pretty, pretty close. It came out pretty decent. It did go past the bar, but it was like, it went at like in the right angle. It didn't go directly into my thumb. It went off to the side, but almost a bad situation there. Nice sixth bass of the day for me on the swim bait. Yes. All right, see you, Samuel. Oh, skipping, skipping the swim bot. Yeah, you definitely gotta do something funny. Like, could, oh, there he is! Oh god, it's a pike! It's a pike! It's a pike! It's a pike! It's a pike, folks! Oh god! Oh god! Under the tree! Oh golly! Oh golly! This is gonna be real interesting. We have zero net. We have zero. That made sense. We have. We don't have a net, and I've got a pike, and uh, my thumb is still still throbbing. So I'm not really looking forward to grabbing this thing. That's a good one too. Oh golly! Oh, oh, good, jeez. Oh, okay. Dude, I skipped I skipped the swim bait under the tree. Oh, easy, easy. Look at him, look at him with that swim bait. Oh, he's got line on him. He's got line on him. He's been broke, so he broke off somebody at some point. Okay, come here. Take it easy. Take, take it easy. You're gonna do it, too. You're gonna do it. Quit, quit, quit. Good, for the love of God, just relax. Relax. He's gonna cut it. You're not taking my swim. Oh, no, he did. No. I got him! 
I got him. Dude, he broke off and I just grabbed him out of the water. Oh, 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 oh. What just happened? What just happened? Oh my God. Dude, I saw the swim bait rotate and it broke off and he just laid there and I freaking just grabbed him. Oh my God, how did that just happen? Oh, oh, look, at, look at that thing, dude. He literally broke me off and I just grabbed him out of the water. I don't know why he didn't move, he just sat there. There, there we go. Uh-uh, not today. You're not taking my swim bait. Well, John didn't hit the record button uh, when we released that fish, but as you can tell, it got me pretty decent. I was holding it and you know, you know how pike are, they shake and well, you know, it wouldn't, I just hooked my thumb now, my hands all ka but it's okay. Uh, buddy swam off, but I don't know, I, I hopefully you guys kind of understood what just happened. So I was throwing this bait right here and I threw it and I skipped it up under a tree, twitched it, saw the pike come and eat it, had it come, and it was fine. It was fine. Relax. Like it was hooked way down here. Like there was no, there was nothing, no issues with it. And then as it was sloshing around, I saw the swim bait get turned and hooked and I saw the line in its teeth and I was like, oh no, oh no. And as soon as I grabbed that line, it broke and the, the pike just froze there. And I just reached down and grabbed it behind the gills and put it in there. Because otherwise, that thing would have swam off with the old expensive swim bait, which I could not let happen. So that was honestly probably one of the most exciting, memorable fish catches of my entire life. Like the fact that just reaching down and grabbing the pike without it being hooked or anything is absolutely incredible. But you know, we're good. Just a little, little damage from the pike. That's cool because that's actually the biggest pike I think I've caught this year so far. I haven't really caught many pike. But anyways, that is, does that, does that count as a fish? Is that seven? That should be a minus fish. Minus? No, that should be like plus five. What? I, th I think it should be like, I, sh I think that should just be it. Like I just win. Like that's just the end. A few moments later. And just like that, we are off the water. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode of expensive versus cheap. Honestly, I expected the cheap to win, but you know, it's just one of them days. The Walmart, uh, Aquafin colored bluegill, whatever bait that was trying to resemble did not work and my expensive bait worked. So if you guys actually want the expensive bait I was throwing, I'll link that down below as, long, as well as the rod and reel, the line and everything else that I was using in today's episode, as well as this boat. You know, if you guys want this boat, will be linked down below. I actually brought this thing down to go carp fishing, bow fishing, but well, I mean, now the sun's out, but the sun hasn't been out for the last few days. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do that, but hopefully you guys I will be able to do that soon. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want me to do more series, like like the ver the cheap versus expensive series, comment some ideas. Like, do you want me to use like maybe an expensive chatterbait versus cheap chatterbait, expensive frog versus cheap frog, rod and reels that are cheap versus expensive? Like, give me some ideas. What do you guys want to see? I read every single comment. So whatever videos you guys want to see, let me know. Anyways, we're gonna take off. We're gonna do a catch and cook because we are hungry. So stay tuned for that episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.